hello youtube welcome back to the channel so in today's, in today's tutorial we're going to continue with our uh, introduction to game development using python's uh, python programming language using pygame specifically so we're going to be using a pygame to develop a simple uh, space uh, invader game or space invader game display a spacecraft uh, that can shoot down a bunch of alien crafts and can get get points as yes as, uh, as it shoot down the craft so that's what uh, we have been trying to build and this is video number six we're going to be going ahead and adding the enemies to the screen so if you're new to the channel please can you consider subscribing to the video liking this uh the, the like, subscribing to the youtube channel liking the video and then sharing this content with anyone who you think might find this helpful okay so let's get started with so the first thing we need to do go ahead and do is actually get an image that we can use for our enemy so we can just go to flat uh, flat icon or you can go to pixel uh, pixel.com and then simply get an image right that get, get a spacecraft image okay so i got mine from pixel and then make sure that the dimensions are 900 by 600 pixels image or you can even go to flat icon and just try to find any alien image make sure that it's around a 900 uh by uh, 600 pixel image or is that i think it's around 64 64 sorry not not 900 by 600 rather so this is actually an error right here uh this actually supposed to be 64 by 64 image okay so a pixel image so you can flat i uh, can go to flat icon and then find an image of a, a space uh, of, a, of an alien craft and make sure that its dimensions are 64 by 64 pixel image my bad uh, this uh, actually made a value value wrong here so these are uh, these are uh, we're going to use the dimensions later on but i'll explain to you i think I, I made an error when i was creating these slides okay so sorry for that uh make sure that your image is says 64 by 64 pixel image okay so you can just go to flaticon.com and get an alien craft image of 64 by 64 image okay so i hope that's clear and i'm not repeating myself uh, over and over again okay so i hope that you have that image and if you could even don't have the image you can find it on my guitar page and the link is going to be in the description below okay okay so let me just go ahead and simply get that image that you're going to be going ahead and using and uh, this is going to be the alien uh the alien craft is going to be this one right so i'm just going to go ahead and copy it go back to my desktop go in here go into tutorials and i'm going to space invader and then i'm going to assets and then simply paste it in here so you can see now now i have that image right here which is called ufo.png and if i open it up from here you can see we have that ufo.png image okay so once we have it what i want to go ahead and do is simply uh, uh load that image so i'm just going to go uh let me just scroll up here and i'm just going to keep it up here where we loaded the uh, previous image so this is going to be load uh enemy so enemy uh image just like this so i'm going to say enemy so enemy uh, enemy underscore image and it's going to be pygame uh, dot uh, image dot load and then simply say dot for slash assets uh, assets for slash uh this is gonna be enemy and then dot uh oh sorry i called it ufo.png so it's gonna be u F O dot uh, P N G just like that. So once I have that, uh, sorry for that. Once I have that uh, specified right there, I also want to go ahead and specify the X and the Y value for our enemy. So the X and the Y value, I will just say enemy, uh, enemy, uh, enemy. So I'm going to say enemy and an enemy X. It's just going to be using uh 450. Let's let's get this 400. And then enemy, uh, enemy Y, uh, should be uh, let's say enemy Y is around. Uh, let's see what should we use for this y value we can just say uh mm, let's say one 170 okay let's say 170 for the y okay later we'll come back and we'll change these values just in a second so don't worry uh, i'll explain all that to you so i'm going to say also this is going to be change in uh underscore x underscore enemy x position uh underscore enemy for the enemy so enemy just like that and uh, change the exposition for the enemy i'm just going to be leaving it to be 0 0.4 for now uh you can play around with these values as long as you ask uh, so that it, uh the game uh you, you like the movements of the game that the speed is not too f uh, fast or too uh, uh too much but for now just leave it to be 0 0.4 we'll come back to all of these values and why i set them just in a second okay so now i want to go ahead and write another function that is going to go ahead and bleed the enemy to the screen just like we have it right here so you can simply go ahead and simply copy it from here and then use the same but I, 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 I can just go ahead and simply uh take this so i'm going to say def enemy uh it's going to say uh enemy uh, y and then enemies uh, uh enemies uh y position so enemies x position and enemies y position is going to do screen dot bleed you're going to bleed the image the screen which will be enemy image and you're going to simply pass in a tuple which is going to be the coordinates which will be enemy x 
and uh, enemy y just like an uh, enemy y so enemy uh, y just like that so we have enemy x and enemy y so once i have these values right here I'm, i can go ahead and simply call this function that is going to go ahead and draw the enemy on the screen so i want this to be a uh, persistent so i'm going to put it inside of the the main uh, the main while loop we explain that everything that you want to be persistent then keep it inside of the main while loop. so i'm going to go here and say uh player so it's going to be uh, enemy uh, image uh, display just like that we have the player one so we can say enemy uh, enemy and then simply pass in the enemy uh, y uh, enemy x sorry enemy x and uh, enemy y uh, y value so there we have enemy x and enemy y so once we have this i'm just going to go ahead and simply run my code again and now you can see we have the enemy right there the enemy is right here okay now the enemy is not moving because i want the enemy to move around and also the enemy is not responding when i shoot the enemy we see the enemy nothing happens so we're going to solve all that in our uh, upcoming videos so now what i want to go ahead and do is that i want to make the enemy be moving from left and right uh, to the screen from moving from left to right of the screen okay so first of all let's get it to move it uh, let's get it to move in uh, one direction so let's go back to the uh, vs code and let's get our enemy just to move in one specific direction and to do that i'm just going to go above here and uh, i can keep it right here Mm, let me see i can keep it right here just above here so this is going to be um let me just say that this is going to be enemy uh this is going to be the enemy movement so enemy uh movement okay so i'm going to say enemy uh enemy and then get the enemy's exposition so enemy's exposition is going to be equals to the change in the enemy uh uh, push exposition right so we're going to say enemy uh, enemy exposition sorry it's going to be plus equals to uh the change in the main enemies or uh, exposition this in this case the enemy's exposition is just going to continuously increase right so let's run the code and let's see what we have so if i run the code and you can see the enemy is just moving towards the right of the screen and it gets out of the screen so how do we make sure that it doesn't move uh right of the screen once it hits the edge of the screen i want it to move in the other direction so if it once it hits here i want it to start moving in the opposite direction but now it just goes all away okay all the way uh, to the end of this out of the screen so to do that uh, we have to simply check uh, set some boundaries for the uh, enemy uh, for the enemy so you can go ahead and simply say uh, enemy uh, boundary okay screen and they say screen boundaries okay just like that so what you're going to check we're going to check if uh, enemy uh, the exposition of the enemy if it's uh, if it is uh, less or equals to zero right means the enemy position is either left uh less or equals to zero what you want to do you want to say change in the enemy's position uh enemy's x position is going to be equals to uh 0 0.4 and the reason why it's 0 0.4 is that we add to we want to add, we want to be able to add to it because if it's less or equals to uh zero means that is that uh we want to we want to move towards the right direction so that's why adding to it and we're going to ch also check if it's in the left direction i'm going to do that just in a second and i'm going to simply say um L if right the enemy exposition and uh, enemy exposition is uh greater is greater uh is it is uh sorry let me just say is greater or equals to uh i'm going to say eight eight three five and i explain why we are using the, this value of eight three five and eight three five is the, we get it from nine hundred which is the width of our screen minus uh sixty four which is gonna be the uh, the image the the image uh the image pixels right it's a 64 by 64 image right remember that so that's we're going to get that's how we get the uh, uh, uh 836 okay so uh, that's we're going to get 83 that's we're getting the value 836 from so i'm just going to take the the width of the screen minus the width of the image and that's going to be 83 uh, 83 uh 836 okay so that's going to make sure that the enemy uh, exposition does not um, does not exceed this value so what you're going to simply go ahead and do once it hits that uh, uh, 83 836 what you're going to do start, start doing is starting uh starting to move it towards the left because that's reached the far most right that we allow it to so now it's, it needs to start moving towards the right or the left of the screen so to do, to do that you're going to simply say uh copy the enemy's uh exposition but now it's going to be a negative value so it's going to be negative uh negative 4.0.4 uh, 4. In, in case that when we come to add it here it's going to be a minusing of the enemy's exposition instead of adding to it so here we're going to simply go ahead and add it but here we're going to go ahead and remove it whenever we come to this line right here so that's why we are setting the values to be either positive here and the negative value here okay good so once we have that let's go ahead and try to run the code and let's see what we have so far so let's uh hopefully it is the right and then goes into the right direction good so once that that works as we expect it right 
So great. So uh, what I want to go ahead and do is uh, I also want to make sure that the the enemy's Y position is also random and not uh, just any static static uh, just being on this line. I want it to be random value and not just on Y. So uh, the enemy should, should continuously move downwards as time goes as time goes, and uh, should be also be able to change uh, the the change in the, the also the Y. It cannot just be on this line. It can be here, here, here. The enemy can spawn in different places instead of just one spot. Okay, so now let's go ahead and actually do that. And to do that, I'm going to go up here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the here. So I'm going to simply say random. Uh, let me, I need to import random. So go up above of your code and just also import uh, import uh, random, just like that. So we are now we're so once you can, you can use the you can use the random library that is important. So it's random dot uh, int, and you're going to use the we're going to specify uh, between uh, 64 and uh, three. Uh, 64 so let me just say 64 comma uh, 838 uh, 36 okay and 836 is the uh, the width the maximum value it can go towards the right and x is 4 is actually the lowest value which is actually the, the pixel uh, the, the size of that image so i'm just going to go ahead and simply copy this and also paste it for the y okay so paste it here as well and then i have that there so yeah that's basically it but now I, for the y i want to change this to be uh, 168 so these values are just values that you can play around with these parameters you can tweak later on to choose the values that work for you okay so for me it's going to be 60 between uh, 64 uh, to uh, uh, 836 uh, and then for the y it's going to be to 64 and uh, six eight uh six one six eight basically yes yeah, so that's what i want to do so once i have this these values will be randomly generated so now let's uh, uh, run the code again uh, so that will make sure that the player does not spawn in one specific area all the time so if i run maybe this time we'll get a different location you can see now it's a bit above so yeah that's basically what i'm trying to implement the position of the player should change uh depending on uh it should be random not just any static value so that's what i'm trying to implement yeah so it's uh it's difficult to detect this chain but yeah so once i have this done i also want to go ahead and also change the values right here so once we uh we we, we either uh, make our player move in the left or the right we also want to go ahead and change its uh, x and y values so i'm going to say here enemy uh enemy uh we're going to say enemy y so enemy y is going to be equals to random dot randy so i'm just going to paste what i copied so random dot and it's going to be, be these values right here so it's going to be between um yeah that's basically it so enemy y is going to be plus or equals to these values right here so it's going to be between zero and 68 so i'm going to change this to be between zero and uh 68 so uh i'm going to just gonna add, say 68 and then uh, also here i want to copy the same values and repeat it down here as well so I'll paste it here as well paste it here and uh, random values between 1 and 60 or you can, i think you can use 68 also here it's uh fine yeah so that's basically it uh so once we have that done everything should be uh, as expected uh so let's go ahead and actually run the code again and uh, run the code so now you can see uh it works like that so yeah, so that every time the player drops a bit down and that's what that code does the player drops a bit down so that we, uh, once the player hits this uh once the the alien craft crashes with this uh, the the spaceship then the spaceship dies the game is over right so that's why i, I continuously drop it uh, by a given value we continuously drop it drop it and drop it as uh, as we go along yeah that's, that's basically what you are trying to uh do right there yeah so that's basically it for let me just go ahead and uh, show you if there's anything i need to explain to you furthermore uh, you can let me know in the comment section below but this is basically what we want to do basically just increasing the y value each time with a by a random value we don't want to constantly be uh, be going down with a constant value we just want to use a random value so yeah that's what you're trying to do it is increasing the y value as time goes by and if you are confused you can always go back and look at the graph this graph right here you can we always say that the y increases as we go downwards in terms of the screen right so zero is raised up here and then y increases as you have to go in a di downward direction and to go in a downward down direction Direction, that's why we're going to go ahead and simply generate a random number between 0 and 68 and then simply add it to it to make sure as we move down okay yeah that's basically it so once it hit there it hits the left right this is going to be uh, once this is going to be as long as it touches the right that's why the left of the screen you're going to make sure now start moving it towards the right of the screen and also decreasing its y value if it is if it hits the left the right most of the screen you're going to go ahead and decrease its uh the x value so you can start moving towards the left of the screen and then also change its uh its y value to go down right so that's basically it
uh, for for this tutorial so you can see now we have our alien uh, our spaceship and our alien craft all working as we expect it to so right now we need to be able to detect collision and then be able to give scores and all of that so you can see right now the alien is not uh, dying as we shoot it down so we now we now need to go ahead and add values to it so the alien can actually uh, be shot down okay so yeah so that's what we're going to be covering in the next video let me just see what you're going to cover yeah so the next we're going to be going ahead and covering collision detection but whenever i shoot down an, a bullet and the bullet touches the spacecraft how do I know that uh, it has actually touched it? That's our collision detection. And if it, uh, it has detected the collision between the bullet and the uh, alien aircraft, then we can go ahead and increment the values for the winner and then also decide to take the enemy down because that's been shot down, right? So that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial uh, for, uh, for that, okay? So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Uh, keep safe.